Hey there, YouTube. How's it going? I'm JP Natural, and today we're looking at another game in the PlayStation Plus catalog. Today, as you can see, we're looking at a spin-off in a game series known as Borderlands. We're looking at Tiny Tina's Wonderlands for the PlayStation 5. <laughs> Didn't mean to interrupt there. So yeah, this is another 2K Gearbox game. The fourth game in the technically Borderlands series. Although with Tiny Tina's Wonderland, as you can tell by that little D20 there, this is basically Borderlands meets Dungeons and Dragons. And this just got included in this month's PlayStation Plus catalog. So let's see what what are we what are we in store for? I believe this is based off the character from Borderlands 2, if I remember right. But it's time to experience the, exp the adventure for ourselves. I was gonna say expenture. <laughs> so I'm in on my 2K account. Well, I guess PlayStation 2K account. I, I remember seeing some of my friends play this game a little bit back in the day when this game was new. But they were of course playing the PC version. I wonder why it's taking a long time. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, the, the, the agreement. Who reads that? Who cares? Terms of service, who cares? Ah, <laughs> uh, more! No, we're good. Thank you. Oh, crossplay is available. Hey there, Fatemaker. Crossplay is proved powered by Shift. Alright, so that means I could have... I could play with people theoretically on Xbox Series or PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam. That's cool. Why not? Oh, nope. Yeah, keep it at JBN20. So if you ever see me playing this game one of these days, if I go back to this game, I probably will. Alright, I would rather have... I'd rather have fri high frame rate than high image clarity. Well, we'll see who we'll, who we'll run into, if we run into anybody. Now, we don't need closed captions, but I do need subtitles. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, there's Tiny Tina over there on the right. There we go. Another game that the Borderlands series loves is split-screen co-op, which means if you had a second friend, if you had a friend or a relative that wants to play this game too, they could just get a second controller, join in on the action. But let's go ahead and start a new game. All right. I usually tend to go with the medium difficulty. Balance. You're here for a thrilling battle between good and evil. The intended experience. And intense, you deal less damage, the opponents deal more damage. But there's more currency drops. And it's more important to have ex the cor correct elements. You wish to chill with a little imaginary people that live in your screen and save the whole dang world while you're at it. <laughs> Let's just stick with balanced. Ah, cool. Choose how looters distribute. That's cool. That's a nice feature. Let's go with co-op. All right, now we can start the story. There is a world beyond the borderlands. A world forged by wonder and ruled by fate. <laughs> The battle between these powers has raged since the, the beginning. Bit. Evil and good. <laughs> Villains and heroes. A vicious cycle endlessly repeated. Uh oh. Wonder is the power of a cruel, unpredictable god. But fate. There's one alone who can wield fate. Oh one no. Alone whose story is in their own hands. Yeah. The Fate Maker. Ooh. Wait. That's you. Heavy, right? Yeah. Fate maker. Big responsibility. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't even blame you if you just laid down in a puddle and gave up. <laughs> Thanks, Will. But if not, if you try and prove yourself as fate maker, then heed the warning I give all heroes. Together you fight. Together you shall fall. Boom. Oh, yeah. Same. It's going real good over here. 
Jade-wise. We're coming for you, Dragon Lord. <laughs> Fool. Your party of heroes can't stop me. Already I... Wow. You guys got here fast. <laughs> like you said, we're the heroes. I am Valentine, gallant adventurer. The scary, stabby one is Fred. What about that one? That's the movie. It's their first hey. Oh, come Ooh. on. Their face isn't even fully painted. Enough, Tom. <laughs> We're here to stop you from taking the... Yeah, the thing about Borderlands is it's got good humor. I've already absorbed all of the soul energy. I'm invincible. Oh, man. Sorry, newbie. We missed the soul energy. Aww. Castles will burn. Babies will cry. More than usual. My <laughs> skeleton armies will wash over the land. <laughs> Looking bad. How do we win this? We attack together. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh. I thought we'd be launched back before then. Especially you. Why me? <laughs> Why me in particular? Oh, here we go. They here? A they? Yeah, and also like you know, like a sparkly rainbow, which goes like crinkle, kaka, kaka. It is Queen Buster, the most beautiful and perfectest ruler in all the land. Of course. Hold on, what game are we playing here? Where are we? We're playing Bunkers and Badasses, baby! See what I mean? I, Tiny Tina, am the Bunker Master. So what I say goes! Oh boy. And I say there's a magical diamond buying a corn named Butt Stallion who saves the day! Oh. I was kind of hoping we would save the day. You will, Valley Girl. I just gotta set the stakes. Now, let's table talk. Cue Dragon Lord! All right. But Stallion, you may be the most beautifulest, perfectest ruler in all the <laughs> land, but this time, I won. But, but Stallion was wielding the coolest oh. sword in the whole world, the Sword of Souls. Oh. No way. The Sword of Souls. Would you? I just made those skeletons. Dang it. No. No. Trap them in a D20 prison. I curse you, Valentine. I curse you, Fred. And most of all, huh? I curse you, newbie. Why me? Whatever your name is. <laughs> I will return. What? Why me? And finally, rid this world of heroes. And with that. The Dragon Lord was defeated. If we know. Explosion complete! Who's ready to rickety role play? Yeah, my uh, well. Yeah, we're here. We're stranded here after that mountain totally jumped out at our ship. <laughs> yeah, he crashed it. I'm in. I love bunkers and badasses. I've already got a level 40 character. Now, 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 we are making all new characters. This is the newbie's first game, and I'm gonna make yeah. sure it's an adventure they'll never forget. Yay! You ready, newbie? You bet. Time for character sheets! Oh, Bye -bye. no! Not character sheets! I'm no good at this stuff! Alright. Let's see. Choose a class. Stabomancer. I'm a sneaky murderer with focus on critical hits. Nah. The Clawbringer. A wyvern, a wyvern tamer with focus on fire and lightning damage. I'm excited by a little flying dragon. <laughs> Flies through the environment and attacks with fire breath. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that looks, that sounds cool. What else we got? Spell shot. Casting a spell or magic user with focus on constantly casting spells. Mm, Greyborn. Soul trapper with focus on dealing damage in exchange for health. Mm, nah. Spore Warden. Uh, fungal Friend with focus on range damage. Okay. Berserker. 
The angry smasher with focus on frost damage. All right, now this one's a DLC exclusive. The blight caller. Okay, and that's uh, I have to purchase that DLC. Even though I, well, actually, I do have. Since I'm playing this next gen edition, I am actually. I do actually have uh, some of the DLC. Uh, I feel like using the spell shot. I like. I feel like being a magician. Casting a spell or reloading grants the fate maker a stack of spell weaving, increasing spell damage. Spell weaving stacks automatically decay after a few seconds. That's the class feat. Action skills polymorph. The fate maker magically turns an enemy into a harmless skeep for a few seconds, and the fate maker may equip a second spell in their inventory. Or it could be the clawbringer. You know what? Let's let's stick with the clawbringer. Get a little wyvern companion. Flies through the environment. And attacks with a fire breath. And it's claws. And <laughs> Body type, that one. <laughs> or this one. Okay, so I either have this one or that one. <laughs> uh, body size. Yeah, that one looks good. Head size. Mm, yeah. I could choose a voice. Oh, yeah. I've got the goods. Oh, I see. Magnificent! Yeah, there we go. <laughs> now this is the look of a hero. What suits me? Oh, yeah. I definitely made the right choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it looks like the A options are the feminine yes, voices and the B voices Even are the my... masculine voices. Something has to change. I make heroism How's this? That was a rhetorical question. I know. I'm I like clever. And you can't choose your pronouns if you want, however you want it. Well, I guess the, the standard he, him, she, her, and they, them. Uh, I go by he, him, so we'll go with that. Uh, now, what next? Do I continue by pressing X? Oh, okay, there we go. Facial features. Oh, I could change the... Ah, okay, I didn't know that. Let's go, let's see. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I didn't know I could do that if I wanted to. Uh, let's go with graceful. Yeah, human one looks good. <laughs> Frodo, get the point. Cat ears, oh. <laughs> Bald. Mullet over. The favorite foe. Edgy backstory. <laughs> ooh. Yes, <laughs> we'll stick with the edgy backstory. Uh, I don't need a mustache, hair color. Let's go with a dark brown, of course. <laughs> uh, ear symmetry on, yes. Uh, let's stick with this typical oval. I like those. No shape. Uh, let's go soft. Lower the size a bit. Let's go with a wire. Uh, wait. Uh, oh, dang, that's a dry mouth. Let's go thin. <laughs> uh, let's go with... Hmm, what does mine look like? Flat. Yeah, flat's good. Uh, not thick eyelashes or long. Let's, let's just go with none. Eye shape. Light, sure. Pupil. What do we got? Oh, dot. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, let's move on to the... Uh, amber eyes. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep them... Symmetrical. Alright. Man, I, now I can see why people playing through Baldur's Gate 3 went through. <laughs> uh, no, you know what? Um, no, I don't need makeup. Uh. Should I get a scar? Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> really bad shave. Skeep attack. Tabomancer brand. Uh, I can get on brand uh, scars. Yeah, we'll go with Razor Fang. It's slightly similar to my real life scar. <laughs> uh, I don't need a tattoo, so we're good there. Armor decoration. Let's see, what do we got? 
Can't really. Oh, I can see now. All right. Uh. Hmm. Oh, there we are. That's the ones I was looking for. Baronet Blue. There we go. Let's go with Leaf Green. That looks nice. Uh. Yeah. Uh, what's the pattern? Yeah, let's go with uh, strike, strike and lichen. That's good. Uh, slider. What is that? Slider overdrive. I have no idea why that is, so I'll just leave that disengaged. All right, we can choose the background. Let's see. And of course, these require. Let me check something. Can I see PlayStation Plus? What do I get with my special edition of the game that it's included on PlayStation Plus? Huh. Alright. Well, it won't matter. So we'll just focus on these ones. As soon as that gets out of the way, we'll read it. Oh no. Village idiot. Oh, you sweet large child. Blessed with looks, muscles, and exactly two brain cells that never call each other. You are made in the image of the gods. Specifically Pelothian, god of himbos. <laughs> you were always assigned either for greatness, or to be largely categorized as construction equipment. <laughs> Let's see. Raised by elves. You really don't like bringing it up, but you grew up in an elven commune. A steady diet of uncooked leaves and tree sap has left you light on your feet, but scrawny. Also, if you have to hear one more harp solo in your life, you're gonna lose your gourd! <laughs> Let's see, failed monk. A powerful calling led you to leave, le leave your life behind and travel to a mountain monastery, where you could learn ancient teachings and contemplate the meaning of all things in peace. Then you emptied a chamber pot out of the window and hit the head hit monk mid yawn. Fearing that vows of nonviolence can only extend so far, you fled in the night, seeking another calling. <laughs> Recovering inventory hoarder. You once scrambled across your fantastical world, stuffing your pockets with every less candlestick and wheel of cheese you could sweep off the shelves. You sworn off junk, but now your eyes turn towards implements of destruction and their gleaming loot beams. <laughs> And the one available for free is the Rogue Alchemist. The Royal Alchemist Society strictly regulates transmutation magic. Screw those guys! You may have named for yourself hawking off brand affordable jewelry, but are recently unemployed on, on the run after the local baron discovered his new golden amulet was made of chocolate. Yeah, there's four extra you can choose if you buy the Shattering Spectre Glass DLC. Uh, nerfed by the Bunker Master. We'll read these. Like that one goddess from that one mythology we're trying to stop naming things after. You burst forth fully foreign from a god's head. You're good at pretty much everything. In fact, too good. The Bunker Master didn't mention this. The Bunker Master didn't mention this character. So, uh, here. You'll take a dexterity hit. That that that's probably balanced. <laughs> uh, clown blood. Ah! <laughs> Oh, there's a curse in your blood, stranger. Somewhere snarled in the fetid roots of your family tree is a pair of comically oversized shoes. Do you hear it? The honking? The chortles? Yes. The forbidden knowledge of the clown flows through your veins. <laughs> Apprentice Barnacle Scrapper. From the day you laid eyes on your first galleon, encrusted in sea words from the poxed kiss of the untempt seas, it was your dream to someday wield a wedge a chisel underneath those bad boys. It wasn't long before that dream became reality. You have a dock worker's brawn and a union paycheck, but now it's time for a new, less stupid dream. <laughs> hey, who says my dream is stupid? Street urchin success story. It's the oldest story in the book. You and your filthy crew of pickpockets and thieves have found yourself one last job. The big one. Something stank about it. Worse than you. But you are just malnourished and desperate enough to try it. We all know what happened next. It went pretty well. You all made a comfortable amount of money and moved out of the suburbs. Sometimes you write letters to each other, but it's been a while. Uh, let's see. I'll take the... Hmm, I was gonna say take the failed monk. Uh... Let's go with the failed monk. I like, uh... 
intelligence and I don't want to be an idiot. <laughs> Alright, now we can allocate our 10 hero points. Let's just go with... Uh... Yeah, there we go. That's good. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Now comes the fun part. What am I gonna name myself? Hmm... Hmm. I'm tempted to just go with what I normally go by. Let's just let's just do it, Jay. Just Jay is good. All right. Now, after 20 minutes, yes, I can see finally what those Baldur's Gate 3 players are talking about. Let's do it. Let's begin our story. Alright, game's loading up. Oh. Okay, uh, Valentine, you've just drawn your own face over the character sheet? It said draw your hero, and I'm my own hero. Yeah. Okay. And Fret, it says your starter sword does murder a thousand damage? My bad, I left off a zero. <laughs> okay, no Fret and Valentine can't be trusted with pencils, let alone dice. So it is up to you, newbie. You are... The fate maker. Ba -ba -ba -ba. And these fools shall be thine advisors, I guess. I guess. Fine. I advise that you better be a badass. We're here okay, to Fred. people and get gold. I know you see me as a role model. Follow oh, yeah, I sure do, Valentine. All right, one last thing. Bunkers and Badasses is a role-playing game, baby. That means you do not break character voice. Kapiski? What are we going character voice though? I've honed my oh, here we go. For a lifetime of mischief. It's time I take on a real challenge. There we go. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> okay. To enter a world of fantasy. Uh, I don't see anything. You gotta imagine it, knucklehead. Just close your eyes and wonder. Nah. That harbors a dark secret. Dun, dun, dun. You journeyed far to be here, heeding the call of the queen herself. Okay. <gasps> the queen herself. What could she want of us? She fears the dragon lord will soon reawaken. We must find his tomb and prevent his resurrection. What I'm hearing is we get to whoop his ass. That's what I'm hearing too. She to track your health and map and stuff over. Oh, nice. Free gold. Alright, the blue diamond icon is your waypoint. Follow it to your next objective. Oh, I did move it to the right spot, at least. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, the game does look pretty. It's different from seeing all these sci-fi destruction elements that the Borderlands games usually have. Oh. Bridge is out. If I paid taxes, this would irk me. Yes, it would. <laughs> All right. You recognize one of the queen's waystones. It seems to call to you. Waystone. The queen's magic enters oh. through the stone, granting you the power of. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Aura! You now have magical sight and hearing, baby. Queen Butt Stallion. She's guiding us on our quest. Uh, oh, this way. Up, baby. A trail of spectral hoofprints. Oh, that's what it was supposed to do. Alright, let's go. Hmm. Oh, yeah, these familiar, like, vaults from uh, the Borderlands game. There's a list, it's nice list that they do have some elements a of the game. Tree bars your path. What you gonna do about it, huh? I cast Identify Tree. It's a species called Jumpus tutorialis, and weirdly, it only grows in this one valley. <laughs> huh, how convenient. Alright, <laughs> let's keep going. There we go. 
we go. Ah. Okay, so no, oh, here we are. Ahead, the glint of edge steel beckons you forward. Some hot lumberjane has left her axe in a stump. Hmm. Ooh, there's an axe. Let's take it. Still sharp? Oh, the things I could chop with this. Not heads, don't worry. Okay, yes, heads. <laughs> good axe. Great for cleaving, hacking, even a good old fashioned chop chop. <laughs> All right. A cave mouse sits covered over nearby. If only you could get him. Hmm. Though the magical hook prints continue through the cave. The rocky ceiling dips low to the ground. A yeah, true circle to crash. Your nose when to stand tall and when to crouch. Yeah, work them sweet glutes. And if you get a running start and crouch, you'll slide around like a cool action hero. Like so. <laughs> All right. There you go. Fate marker. You just activated a fate marker. When you die, you will resurrect at the latest activated fate marker. All right. Reaching it will mean going through a pack of nasty, pinchy crabs. Yeah! Combat! Kill them all! Yeah! Uh, pinchy! They're so pinchy! <laughs> there they are. Oh. Uh. There we go. Oh! Oh, didn't mean to aim low there. There we go. Luckily, they were carrying their life savings for some reason. All yours now. Good. Thanks. I think we killed everything down here. Climb up there and follow the hook print. Okay. All right. So this way. Okay. So we got a little quest over here. While in the air, move forward near a ledge to automatically mantle onto it. There we go. So it looks like the triggers don't really do anything yet. Ooh. Alright, let's investigate the shrine. Everything falls apart. Even shrines? That's right! The Queen has ruled the Wonderland since I was but a humble player, like you, Bing Bongs. <laughs> she has foreseen your arrival and left a powerful weapon for you. The weapon of a fate maker. <laughs> Thank you, Queen Butt Stallion! <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, this is where the Borderlands influences come in. It's a gun! This thing reminds me of Grammy. Old and weathered, but still capable of shooting skulls off necks from 20 paces. <laughs> Wait, there's guns in fantasy? You're in Tainus fantasy, baby! Oh. So you can choose uh, shot modes by pressing down on the D-pad. From here, you can spy a quaint little village nestled in the bodacious bosom mm -hmm. of the valley. But beyond it, a dark and ancient castle lurks... Lurkingly. If I were sealing away the Dragon Lord, it would be in an inconspicuous ruin, such as that castle. Yep. Hey, right, where do we go? I'll just go down, I guess. There we go. Wonder what's over here. Ooh, ammo. Nice. Uh, where do I go? Not that way, that's for sure. Probably just go down. Down this way, I guess. Ah! <laughs> Made it. Uh oh. You will never the Whoa! Hey! <laughs> uh oh. Go break some bones, fate maker. There we go, reload. Alright, so yeah, now we're into familiar Borderlands territory. Let's try the four shot first. 
Oh, I see. No, not my brains! There we go. Take that. Oh, we took out that guy's legs. Oh, of course, figuratively. There we go. Yeah, you better run. Shield. You found a war. That's like a magical shield above your health. Pretty sweet. Okay, yeah, pretty sweet. Alright, so we gotta go down that way now. Ah! Huh, I can survive that, huh? Alright, so how do we get out of here then? Uh -oh, a rock slide bars your way to the village. We're ruined. All is lost. No! Very heroic. Tina, can we blow up the rocks? Sorry. Without explosives. Oh! Victory! I'd never lost hope. Ahead, right. hear the roar of raging fire and the clackety clackety of bones. Uh oh! We're here to save the village. Ooh, the village is already ransacked. Oh no! Crawling with skilly men. We're here to avenge the village. There we go. Oh, got to remember to try to keep. Oh, sorry. There we go. Another. Take that. Take that. There we go. There we go. Nice. All right, let's move on. Keep killing. That's what you think. Oh. Yeah, it's hard to aim a little bit, I guess. It was always hard to aim in these games. There we go. There we go. Let's freeze this archer. An extra powerful oh no! No! Take that! Ow! Uh-oh. There we go. A single Got it. Alive in the level up. Congratulations, you just leveled up. You've now unlocked your first action skill. To slot this first skill, press the touchpad and go to the skills menu. Check out your skill tree here as well. After your skill is slotted, you can use it in a game by pressing R1. Alright. This is the place to check out your loot, compare items, and equip gear. If you like numbers, this is the menu for you. <laughs> you can select your currently equipped items to swap out weapons and gear. The, fil the filters up near the top of the menu allow you to easily store items in your backpack. Be sure to mark your items as trash or favorites to quickly identify what's garbage fit only for low-level rats and randos, and what's an irreplaceable heirloom. The ammo panel shows your current ammo count for each gun type. Remember, spells automatically recharge and don't need ammo. Alright. Oh. Hold on, we'll, we'll get back to you a bit, Tiny Tina. 
This is where you spend all your hard-earned skill and hero points to invest in your Fate Maker. You can select your first skill here at level 2. More skills will unlock later and you may return to the screen to, to slot any unlocked skill. Spend skill points to unlock massive passive bonuses. The passive bonuses for your class, they can heavily influence your gameplay and style, so every hero is unique. Spend hero points to contain to continue increasing your hero stats. It's okay to min-max if you want, balancing the game is Tina's problem. <laughs> Each class comes with a strong passive ability called a feat. These will unlock early in the plot and are as active as long as the class is slotted. No need to spend no points need to be spent. Later in the main quest you will unlock the ability to choose a second class. See you then! <laughs> Oh, we gotta just go over here. Uh, yeah, let's deal extra damage. And what about? Can we do hero points yet? Oh yeah. Increased dexterity, so now we have an even chance at critical damage. I'm an archetype of a nerd. Nerd, I just realized that. Hey, that fits then. All right, we're good now. Might as well save her, Pesanias. Yeah. Oh, what do we got? Ooh. Nice little machine gun here. When playing with friends with co-op, you can revive them when they are down. Oh, full ammo. Oh, that must be a lot of full ammo then. Okay. Oh, wrong button. Switch over to the inventory then, because now we got new stuff to equip. There we go. Oh, no, we're good. All right. All right, let's go talk to her. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Peasant. <laughs> I'll try your action skill. To use a skill, press R1. Oh, we can revive. <laughs> try it right near her. Let's revive the ally. Hello, Peasant. <laughs> Thank you for saving my peasant ass stranger. How can I ever repay you? As much as it kills me to refuse payment, I'm afraid I'm on an urgent quest to prevent the return of the Dragon Lord. You're a fate maker! I knew the Queen would send us a hero! The tomb is in the crypt below Castle Herofast. You must hurry before his minions find it. The tomb is inside a crypt. Hmm. The perfect hiding place. Yes. May the Queen's favor see your noble quest through. All right, see ya. Oh, my peasant ass is killing me. <laughs> God dang it. All right. Let's go. Oh, didn't realize I was going to push in like that. The ruins of Castle Harrowfast are just out yonder. Whoa. It's over there, baby. I <laughs> yep. sense the Dragon Lord's presence. His tomb is somewhere beneath these ruins. Find him, fellow skeletons! Wait, wait, wait. I thought we already beat the dragon lord. What? That was forever ago. He's a necromancer. It's hard That's to true. Kill him to death. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> She's right, sorry. Queen Butt Stallion locked his butt away in a dusty tomb for a few hundred years. Oof. He's gonna be a cranky yeah. boy. Yeah, he's gonna be cranky. I think that's quite enough out of There we go. Do some critical damage. There we go. Oh, too far. Oh, careful. There we go. Nice. Alright, reload. Luckily these damages aren't the damage isn't doing much. Oh I can use uh up on the D-pad to tell enemies where to go and of course use the triangle button to switch amp uh, switch out gun types. Nice. What's in here? Ah, more ammo of course. Reload, take care of these guys. There we 
you go. Alright. So Harrow Fast is a crumbly, tumbly ruin. No one is left to walk these halls. No one is living. So skeletons. Oh, yes, girl. You're picking up on There we go. There we go. Right. Oh, gotta be careful. I don't want to get involved in that. There we go. Man, I'm having too much fun with this game. We'll try to get through the first quest and then uh, we'll call it a video. Alright, a new area. Got some more gold. Ooh. When you got more than one gun, you can switch between them. Keeps combat spicy, like Jambalaya. So, Tina, maybe after this quest, I could be the bunker master. I've been working on a campaign. It's got orcs and kissing. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Tina don't play no more, okay? But it's all good. I got mega tons of crusticles simmering up in my brain sauce, baby. <laughs> Gosh. Dang it. <laughs> all right, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Go back, guys. Let's go full auto. Boomtown for pathos. Of course, you can use, like, up on the D-pad to, uh, direct attacks. There we go. Take that. There we go. Hey, hey, hey! Take that, skeletons. <laughs> You're not going after me. Reload. Get some stuff, there we go. Anything else I need over here? No, not really. Alright, move on. There we go. I don't even need any health yet. Uh, am I allowed to, uh, select, like, quests? Oh, oh dang, can't use that yet. And there's a journal, you can be your progress in your Wonderland's journey because the best bunkers and business players take copious notes. <laughs> quest log, okay. World buffs, tap displays to Congress, collect and complete them all. Scroll sounds like you replay messages from any scrolls you found, you know, in case someone sneezed at you or the first time it's played or something the first time it's played. Uh am I allowed to Oh nope, I can't. Alright, just wanna make sure. Alright, there's the map. Without it, you'd be lost. <laughs> point of interest can be highlighted by moving the cursor. The details about the highlighted points of interest appears in the info plane. Any fast travel locations discovered. No need to hitch a ride with a cart. <laughs> Alright. Time to clear the throne room of the skeletons. May need to tone down like the sensitivity of the aiming or something, but we're fine for now. There we go. But you don't have blood, skeleton. Ow! There we go. throne, her bones clutching a dusty spell book as though awaiting a destiny that never came. Well, mm -hmm. this place is super grim. I love it. Grab that spell book. Magic you found your first spell. To cast a spell, use L1. With spell Spells have a recharge, but they don't consume ammo. La da! I this is extra strong against the undead. They got none of that greasy flesh to keep us warm. 
That's now, fair. How do we get into the tomb crypt? There we go. It's around here somewhere. Ah, uh, hidden. Man. Oh, the game's already telling me what to do. We gotta drop the chandelier. The floorboards of the throne hall seem uh, rotten and brittle. Oh, can't use that. Hmm. Are we supposed to drop the chande chandelier then? All magic's out, I'm afraid. Huh. Hmm. How are we supposed to drop the chandelier then? Back in business. All right. There we go. Now we picked up enough gold, but how do we get up there to? Oh wait, maybe I gotta climb up here. Maybe. Ah, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> There we go. Boom. Ooh, spooky. Wee! Smells of old stone and Ooh. Wonder what secrets we'll find here. What's over here? Hero fast. New scroll. A duchess sucks. They haven't invented Person podcasts yet. <laughs> prophecies? I spit upon prophecies. Tuh. That was me spitting. Because they suck. For six generations, my family has clung to this stupid prophecy. The Harrows must guard over these lands, lest a great evil rise again. Well, guess what? These lands suck. I'm getting out of here. One last meal, and I'm moving <laughs> to the capital. It's not bad, though. I... <coughs> Garth! Uh -oh. Bitch! My poison tester! Oops. Tell him! He sucks! Oh, well. The Duchess is dead. <laughs> that last meal was poisoned. Oops. <laughs> you hear a rumble and a booming laugh that seems to come from all around you. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'll evil laugh right back at you. <laughs> How's that feel? I found it. A tomb inside. What do you guys think of my evil laugh? <laughs> hiding place. I am coming, my dark master. He's gonna resurrect the dragon lord. That's the exact opposite of what we want. We gotta get in there. Yeah, let's stop these guys. Next time, learn to pick an easier mark. There we go. I never miss. Can't believe I can reread the spell book every time. There we go. Nice headshot. My spell's ready. Let's take apart that body. Got him. Now this guy. The there we go. Blows. You oh. feel its magic within your chest, within your mind, within your soul. It asks a question. Who are you? Hmm. I am I'm a fate maker. You have answered smartly, baby. The carbon door to the dragon lord's tomb. Uh oh. Out of the way. Ah! What's up, Tina? Wait. She's reading the. She's reading the upside down. I got a special figurine for this guy. One second. Rising before you is one of the Dragon Lord's most loyal undead soldiers. It's Rivula. Roll for initiative. Aspect skeleton magic, wheel of time, undead magic, total suck up. It's got a dangerous jawbone. I'm 
not trembling. I'm trembling. Kick his ass, Luby. I'm trying to. I got a health potion. Oh. Ow, dang it. Oh, over here. Reload. Use it. There we go. Oh, dang it. Come on. Well, at least I'm taking care of these guys. That'll give me health at least. Oh no, I'm almost dead already. Dang it, dead. So luck luckily though, the uh, it looks like the uh, revive mechanic from Borderlands is here as well. If you kill an enemy before you timer runs out, you get a revive. that skeleton oh uh oh uh oh out of the way out of the way ah dang it there we go another death save wait wait you oh almost got it there we go Hold on, before we do. Okay. Uh oh. Oh no. Psych! The Dragon Lord is free, suckers! No! Oi! Dragon Lord! Come and get it! <laughs> That's good. Yeah, not happening. Come on. The faint maker never beats the villain in the first quest. Dang it. Still, you're stronger than the ones she sent before. Hmm. I wonder. I wonder. Whoa. We'll meet again, Fate Maker. But for now, I have to go pay an old shiny friend a visit. See you around the neighborhood. Damn it, he got away? We gotta track him down. I want that big bad boss kind of loot. <laughs> of course. Ooh. We'll still take some of this stuff because we can still sell it. Actually, let me just make sure. Yeah, we can equip better gear now. There we go. And there we go. Better shield. Ooh, what's this? It's a prophecy. Let's read it. The Fate Maker's journey begins as so many do, with a heart full of fire and dreams of dragons and magic. It will end only one way, with the ultimate defeat of all evil. Oop, wrong button. Oop, wait a second. Uh, is that better? Oh, no, I didn't take another pistol, but is there any differences between these ones? Uh, there's a little bit of differences. I'll take a little bit less on the reload time. Your heroic efforts. The Dragon Lord has escaped! Wait a minute. Did you hear what he said? Shiny? Friend? Neighborhood? I know where he's headed. He's after Queen Butt Stallion! No! Queen Butt Stallion of the Dragon Lord's escape. You must travel far across the Wonderlands to the capital city of Brightfoot. All right, we got a quest reward. Let's go ahead and claim that at least. There we 
go. So we got the new weapon in our inventory. Alright, well, we've reached as long as I could with this game. This is this is gonna be my longest gameplay video yet that's not a sports gameplay. <laughs> Well, in any case, everybody, thank you so much for tuning into this gameplay of Tiny Tina's Wonderlands on the PlayStation 5. Like I said, it's a fun little spin-off if you want something different from the sci-fi world of Borderlands and want something more in the fantasy realm. But I hope you all enjoy it. This is a long video, so it's time we called it quits. Thank you all so much for watching. Have yourselves a great rest of the day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody, and goodbye.